Good afternoon, Zachariah Jackson, Bassa News. Today we're in Irvington, New Jersey. This is Irvington, right? Yes. Oh, so close to Newark. You gotta get it mixed <laughs> this up. This is Irvington. We had the 42nd commencement <laughs> celebration, Eastern Bible Institute. And uh, today's Sunday, uh, June 2nd, at three o'clock, the graduates will be graduating. Is that yes, correct? Yes, that's correct. Can you introduce yourself? I am Odessa McNeil, Academic Dean of Eastern Bible Institute. Okay. And I guess the question I guess I want to know, and I'm sure the audience would like to know too, why should a person want to come to school? A person should want to come to Bible school because God reveals himself through nature, conscience, and the Bible. And the Bible is the most complete, comprehensive revelation of God to man. We learn of our life and destiny, and it, it's ironic to me that we will send our children to all kinds of schools. Sure. We will go to school for our vocation, but when it comes to the Bible, we tend to think it's too hard to understand. But if we don't ever study anything else, we need to study the Word of God so that we can live better. That's a good definition of why, or an explanation of why a person should mm -hmm. come. Now, uh, in terms of interest, should a person come that want to be a rabbit, or should a person just come, as you say, just to learn the works of the Bible? A person should just come for themselves to learn the word. And in the interim, if you are called to the spoken word, you're called to witness one-on-one -on -one sure. or to visit hospitals, sure. to do benevolent works, whatever. It will help you, but initially the desire should be to come so that you can learn. And then whatever calling you have, it will be more enhanced, honed, and uh, measured and meted out because you've taken the time to study. Oh, okay. Now, from this uh, can you explain the, the, the different degrees that your uh, Eastern Bible Institute offer? Sure. We partner with a college in Siloam Springs, Arkansas called Freedom Bible College and Seminary. They have input certain courses into our curriculum. They monitor us. They came and did a site visit to make sure that we exist. Sure. And so based on their credibility, their input into our school. Our curriculum is set up so that we have a core curriculum where you spend a year and a half or two learning, getting a basic foundation. After that, we offer bachelor, master, and doctoral degrees. All of them have a stated curriculum, and uh, it is very comprehensive. It has biblical, theological, and practical mini ministry courses in all of those areas, and you can get a good biblical education. Right here. Right here. And, and what, what is your time, times, in terms of people, the classes? What time do they start? The classes begin at 6.30. Most classes are an hour and a half long. We have a few classes that are two hours long and the evening ends at quarter of 10. So say from 6.30 to quarter of 10, you could possibly take two courses each evening. We have a Monday evening, a Thursday evening, and a Saturday morning oh. set up. And so um, does it matter what age you're in or, or what church you belong to? It doesn't matter that matter. No, we prefer that you are a high school graduate because it is an adult level school. Okay. Once you're a high school graduate and you have to have proof of completing high school, either by GED or going to high school and graduating. And then you can be as, as from 18, say, to 75, 80. We have no limit because you can always learn and uh, once we clear the fact that you're a high school graduate, you can come and study at any age and learn the Word of God. How long, uh, Dr. Uh, Odessa, have you been teaching? I've been teaching over 40 years, and I came to Eastern in 1980. I graduated wow. at that time from Manhattan Bible Institute 
and I was pursuing my a bachelor's degree with American Bible College in Pineland, Florida. So I came here and met Bishop Smith. Sure. And I took one course here after having left Manhattan. And Bishop Smith asked me to start teaching. So I started in 1980. I left for a couple of years in 2008, from 2008 to 2011. And then I came back in 2011 as the academic dean. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, someone asked uh, Dr. Odessa, uh, uh, have you ever preached the word? Do you preach also? I'm a, a, an ordained preacher, minister, and elder at Agape Family Worship Center in Rawway, New Jersey. So I preach and teach. I do workshops, retreats, seminars. Because of the grace of God, he has given me the, the anointing of the Holy Spirit and enabled me to do many things that I do. And I'm just honored to serve the body of Christ. Okay. Well, we, we prepare for graduation. How many students do you have graduated today? This year we have about 25 students because we have six or seven extension schools. Sure. And I run a school at Agape under the umbrella of Oral Roberts University. So we have seven students from Numa Life. That's the name of the school at Agape. Numa Life, we have seven graduating with us today. Okay. Uh, and we have, uh, the rest are comprised of students from our extension school. So all total is about 25 students. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we won't get into what it costs, but do you guys uh, accept financial aid also? We're not under the government for financial aid. So if we give scholarships, we do it on our own based on what we do as a, a staff and student association. But we are one of the cheapest places in town. If you compare us to all of the seminaries, sure. New Brunswick, Pillar, uh, Drew, you'll find that we are more than reasonable. So I encourage you to come on and check us out. We work with you and we have a deferred payment plan. Okay. All right. Again, this is uh, Christian Pentecostal Church, um, uh, 971 Clinton Avenue, Irvington, New Jersey, 07. One, one, one. Thank you, and we're getting ready for the graduation. So, goodbye.